Hello. Today's vocab word is adventure. An adventure is an unusual and exciting, but typically hazardous experience or activity. So when you go on an adventure, you're going somewhere you unusual and exciting. Hopefully not dangerous though. Stay with your parents. All right, now that we got that, let's sing our hello song. It's time to say hello, say hello, say hello. Now it's time to say hello, hello. Hello, everyone, actually. How are you doing on this fine day? It's sunny outside again, it looks like. Okay, well, we are going to go on an adventure, but a safe one. It's okay. Stay with me. Today, we're going to read this book, and it's called The Adventures of Gary and Harry, A Tale of Two Turtles. Now this is going to be an adventure for two reasons. It's going to be an adventure because Miss Nikki has never read this book before. So it's going to be new to me too. And it's an adventure because who knows what Gary and Harry will get into. So, hmm. When you hear the word adventure, I want you to go like this because adventure is out there. <laughs> that's from the movie up that's what i always think of when i hear the word adventure from what's his name not kevin the little boy because he's a wilderness scout and that's their motto is adventure is out there okay here we go we're gonna start enough adventuring -ish. <laughs> okay Deep in the sparkling sea, Gary, the green sea turtle, and his best friend, Harry, the hawksbill turtle, played in their ocean home. Each day they would swim to the surface and happily dive beneath the waves. That sounds like fun. I want to do that too. Gary and Harry loved their carefree life in the sea and liked to visit their many ocean friends, like Olivia the octopus. Anybody see where she's at? Oh, here. Lori the lobster. Uh, and even Herman the grumpy old hermit crab, who was really nothing but a big old softy under that crusty old shell. <laughs> he really does look crabby, doesn't he? That's how Miss Nikki looks in the morning. Mm, crabby. For Gary and Harry, each day was a grand underwater adventure. Adventure is out there. <laughs> Some days they would explore deep into dark underwater caverns. They look a little scared, don't they? I would be. Other days they would search for long lost treasures buried deep in the halls of old sunken ships. Oh, look at One of them looks like he found a diamond. Another one has a ring. I hope those are for me. When they wanted a good laugh, they would visit the crazy clownfishes who performed in Harold Harlequin's Shrimp Spectacular Sea Circuit. Ooh, that was a mouthful. <laughs> These clownfish kind of look like uh, Nemo, don't they? Uh, but this shrimp doesn't look like anybody I know. It's crazy though. One day after their morning adventure, Gary and Harry were especially hungry. Ooh. Adventures out there. We almost forgot. As always, it was difficult deciding what to have for lunch since they have very different tastes in food. How about salty seaweed salad made of fresh algae, Gary suggested. Algae? Blech. Harry replied, making a face. I'd rather have a nice, tasty jellyfish. 
His wish had been answered, for suddenly a school of jellyfish floated by. Wow, look at all those jellyfish. He looks excited, huh? Harry quickly swam to the largest one and swallowed it in. One big gulp. Oh, Gary expected to hear a satisfied but instead, Harry responded with a terrified, ah! Harry was gasping and choking. That was no jellyfish he had swallowed. It was a plastic bag. Harry knew many sea turtles had died from choking on plastic bags, but he never once thought it would happen to him. Oh my gosh. How does he look right now? Is he laughing at him because he accidentally swallowed a big old jellyfish plastic bag? No? Yeah, I agree. He looks scared. I would be too. He looks like he's choking. That's not good. Harry desperately tried everything to remove the plastic bag, but it wouldn't come out. His life flashed before him. Luckily, Gary had just completed his turtle safety classes, and by using the Heimlich maneuver, the plastic bag flew right out from Harry's throat. <sighs> that was close, Harry said while catching his breath. How did a plastic bag get in the ocean anyway? How else, Gary answered. The humans. Well, they need to be more careful to keep their trash out of our homes, Harry said angrily. Gary could not agree with him more. Suddenly, Harry's stomach rumbled, and all the excitement worked up his appetite. Well, I'm starving, he told Gary. Let's get lunch. And then a beautiful jellyfish floated by. Look, Harry, just what you asked for. Lunch. After what Harry had been through, suddenly Jerry, jellyfish did not seem very appealing. Maybe I'll try one of those salty seaweed salads. Gary's face quickly lit up. Well, I know the perfect place to go, he said excitedly. And with a flick of their flippers, they dove through the crystal clear blue water, eager to enjoy a nice, delicious, relaxing lunch. Yeah, I would say relaxing is what they need after what just happened. Oh, well, look at that. It's over. They must have had their happy ending with a yummy, fresh sea cucumber salad with algae or whatever it was. These are all animals. All the sea animals that were in the book we just read. I'll just go over them quickly for fun. This is a Pacific green sea turtle. This is the hawksbill turtle an octopus, a banded spiny lobster, I think he was one of the clowns, an awesome hermit crab and crab anemone. So there's the crab down there. And then crab anemone is an enemy that like sticks on their back and takes a ride when they walk around. And over here is a harlequin shrimp. I bet he was in the circus for sure. Clownfish like Nemo, a jellyfish also known as sea jellies. And this is all garbage, just floating in the ocean. That's horrible. It's called marine debris. Marine debris is an object found in the marine environment that does not naturally belong there. Most common is plastic, glass, rubber, metal, paper, wood, cloth, and discarded nets. 80% of marine debris comes from land-based activities. That's like stuff we do up here. The source of main debris is people. People dump more than 14 billion pounds of garbage each year into the world's ocean. Plastics are especially dangerous as marine creatures ingest or get entangled in them. Thousands of marine mammals die from entanglement or ingestion of marine debris each year. Well, that was really sad. But there's stuff right here that says how you can help. Maybe that'll make us not so sad. Uh, volunteer to clean up beaches and streams. Recycle your six pack rings, aluminum cans, newspapers, plastic, and glass. Before recycling your six pack rings, cut through the loops to protect, prevent entanglement of wildlife. Do not release helium field balloons into the air. When you visit the beach or a park, carry your trash and throw it, throw it away properly. Reduce waste. By jumbo size and products will be the least with the least amount of packaging. Pick up anytime you see some garbage laying around and don't dispose of anything down the storm drains. 
And those are all simple enough that you can tell your grown up. Hey, today we learned not to do this and to do this. What's one thing you remember from this list I just gave you right here? Mine is uh, next time you see trash, just pick it up. That's really simple, right? Absolutely. That's good. I like the way you can. Adventure is up in. <laughs> Every time we see that. Okay, well, now we should sing our goodbye song because adventure is out there and it waits. Okay, ready? Sing with me. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. In a wild crocodile. In a wild crocodile. Do I buy butterfly? Bye bye, butterfly. To the loo, kangaroo. Time to go, buffalo. Time to go, buffalo. Give a hug, a ladybug. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. Just like that. Fat cat. Take a bow, milk cow. Take a bow, milk cow. See you soon, baboon. See you soon, baboon. All right, now you sing and I'll follow. See you later, alligator. In a wild crocodile. In a wild crocodile. Bye bye, butterfly. Bye bye, butterfly. Toodaloo, kangaroo. A toodaloo, kangaroo. Time to go, buffalo. Time to go, buffalo. Give a hug, ladybug. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. Just like that. That cat. Take a bow, milk cow. Take a bow, milk cow. I'll see you soon, big baboon. I'll see you soon, you big baboon. <laughs> I think that's still my favorite part. All right. Well, I'll see you later, you big baboons. Bye-bye.